Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I will be demonstrating a fine art activity. The objective of this activity is to create original artwork. The children will be creating insect puzzles. Through this activity, the children will be developing skills. We have targets, some of them, that I will share with you. The first one is visual expression. Through visual expression, they will be expressing their personality, their emotions, verbally. Through artistic expression, they're going to be expressing their art, their ability, their artistic, artistic expression is their art. Self-awareness. In self-awareness, they're going to connect to their emotions and their personality. And problem solving. Because they will be drawing, creating their insect on a blank, uh, blank uh, jumbo, uh, jumbo crafts, they're going to have to be thinking. It's, they have to problem solve. As you can see here, they're going to have to think, where am I going to put the head? Do I put it here or do I put it in the middle? So they're going to have to really think about it and they have to problem solve. The materials needed for this activity, you're going to need a baggie, a small baggie, masking tape, you're going to need craft sticks, and as you can see, this one has a defect. Uh, don't use the ones that have a defect, it'll be harder for them to draw on. A pencils and markers. Okay? So what you're going to do first, you're going to take a, a long piece of masking tape. I know I can find it right here. Here it is. And it's a long one. And what I found is that if you fold the ends under and tape it to the, uh, fold them under here so they can tape to the tape, or the area that you're working, that holds the tape down. It will be easier for you to line up the craft sticks. Now these you're going to prepare ahead of time. And we're going to take six of them. And I'm going to line it up. Okay, one. And just get it as closely as you can. And line them up evenly. You might have some students that can do this on their own. But it's, it's, if, if not, definitely you will have these prepared ahead of time. Because the children are going to be drawing on them. And then you can see, see how they line up? Okay, and they stick very well to, to the masking tape. And then just cut the ends off. See, and once you cut the ends off, it looks like this. Okay, so they're going to draw their insect. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw. I'm going to start with the head. Make a circle here. And, and, and you can, with a pencil, it draws very, very well. And they've learned in science that their insect has three body parts and try to use as much as the area. So see, now we have the three body parts. Okay, now I'm going to draw my legs. They know that the legs is located the thorax. See? Okay. Now, I'm going to do the antennas, two little antennas, because they've learned this in science. And of course, to give it your own personality, and which they will, they can draw little eyes, little happy face, and their insect is coming to life. Okay. Now, take the black marker and trace it around. I'm, just, I'm going to trace the body parts first. Trace it. The wonderful thing about this activity, that children are using their imagination. They're being creative. Let's see how it's starting to look now. Once you trace it with a marker, now I'm going to go ahead and do the legs. And looks like this. Okay. Now I'm going to 
go ahead and outline the eyes. And I think I'm going to, this one, I'm going to make it a ladybug. So I'm going to add a line here because since the children have been learning about insects, they know what a ladybug looks like. Imagine how they're going to feel. They're going to feel their self-esteem. It's going to be so high because they're going to be so proud of the work. Isn't that looking cute? Okay, we know that ladybugs are red. So I'm going to color her in. She's starting to come together. She. <laughs> See how pretty it's starting to look? And you could you use crayons, but I found that markers work better. They work much better. And uh, if you, you can also see that when they're doing this activity, this is an excellent, excellent evaluation tool for you because you'll be able to see if they can really draw the insect, if they can identify what they have been learning in science, the three body parts, the legs, the antennas, the wings, and it started to look like this. They're cute. Go ahead and color in the face, the ladybug. And it's, it's, they're just going to be so excited to be sharing this also with their little friends as they're making this. They're gonna, their self-esteem is going to be so high. They're going to be so excited. I'm going to go ahead and, and draw the little mouth a little bit where I colored it in. The little eyes. Draw that again. <laughs> it's like that little bug eye. Looks like this. That is so, I mean, just... Everything that they're doing, and they're going to retain what they're learning because it's so much fun, it's hands off. Then what they do, they take it apart. Okay, they can take it apart and mix it around because it's a puzzle. And the puzzle is such a, when the children are doing puzzle, it's such a higher level thinking tool because they have to really think about it. Okay, I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to line it up and see what happens. Just going to line it up just the way they're coming out. And see what happens. There they are. They... Now, okay, I gotta think about here. Something's wrong here. This does not look like the insect I drew. So I, this is the head, and I know, the, and then the next part of the thorax, and I see some legs here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a leg here, and then here's the rest of it, and there's my insect. When they're done, they can put it in their little baggies, put it together, and share it with their friends. Just imagine all, all the insects that they can be sharing each other. They can mix them up. They can put them together. This is a really fun activity, and it really, really helps the child feel good about themselves. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.